Alrighty, I just wanted to hop on here and say a quick hello. Um, we decided to start this YouTube channel to kind of take you along on us adventuring with a baby now and our two dogs. We previously have a teardrop trailer that we're deciding we're going to sell and we've actually purchased a rooftop tent instead. Um, so we're kind of taking you along with us in our journey um, and how we are going to navigate and explore with a baby in a rooftop tent. Um, today we actually got the new crossbars on the car and then later this week we're going to be getting the tent put on. Um, so we're going to videotape all of that and put together videos and we hope you enjoy and find it interesting to try to navigate a tent on top of your car along with the baby. Um, so yeah, we'll cut right into the crossbars getting put on and kind of why we had to do that. So we actually had to get new crossbars put on to my Acura MDX because the crossbars that come on the car do not hold enough weight. The tent is too heavy um, for when the car is in motion to be able to hold the tent safely. So we got new Rhino Rack crossbars put on. Um, we were able to get those on today after we've had to track down some of the pieces because um, how my car is, we don't actually have rails the length of the car. We only have crossbars that are bolted into the top. And so we kind of had to find parts that places don't always have on hand, um, but we were able to get all the pieces we needed and um, got it all installed today at rack and roll here in Bend. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna move over to the videos of me pulling up, um, picking the car up after I got them on and show you guys kind of what it looks like now. I'm on my way back from getting the crossbars on the car. We had to get new Rhino Rack crossbars on because the ones that come on my car do not hold enough weight for the weight of the tent. And so we had to get some new ones put on. Um, so the next step is getting the tent on, hopefully early next week. So as you can see in this video, the crossbars bolt directly into the top of the car they're not latched onto a rail. These are the Vortex Rhino Rack crossbars with the RCH locking leg. Alrighty, just to reiterate some things, um, we got the Vortex Rhino Rack crossbars. They're locking into the RCH locking legs. Um, those are specific to ones that bolt directly into the top of the car rather than hooking on to rails. Um, I have a buddy here joining me. <laughs> this is Hauser. Everybody meet Hauser. He's one of our German short hair pointers. Um, he's joining the video here at the end. But yeah, if you have any questions or we missed talking about something, let us know. But keep posted for the video on us putting the tent on the car. <laughs> 